Okay, so this is going to be a hopefully semi-quick tutorial on how to move your robot's jaw with audio peak instead of mouth control. Now I will say that today I actually set up a, a GitHub page with all the same information that I'm going to show you right now. So you can check that out, but this way at least you'll have a visual sense of what you're getting into. Um, but all the information will be on there and the link for that will be in the description. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on this thumb, and this will launch the default InMove uh, IO1 UI. In move, in and that is this here. And then we're going to come down to this icon here, and this will launch uh, for your controllers or your Arduinos. Now, if you're using the version 1 head, by default, it is on the left controller or controller left. So, this is the one you'll be using. If you're using the version 2 head or a head similar to mine, you know there's not enough pins between the right and the left and you're going to need a third Arduino or something that we can connect them all with. So for now, I'm using a third Arduino and I know controller 4 is open, so I'm going to have to click that on and come over to controller 4. And I know I'm on COM4, so I'm going to hit that and hit connect. There you can see it's all connected now, and I'm going to come back to IO1 and click on this head icon and click it on. Now, while we're on this page, I just want to note, you're going to want to make sure that mouth control is off. Uh, this is the old way of moving the jaw, and it goes kind of against what we're trying to set up right now because we want this to be not the way to control the jaw. It's just outdated and doesn't work that well, so just make sure that this is off. Just a very quick edit in. Uh, I'm just going to demonstrate for you real quick what mouth control looks like. Starting mouth up. control. And the reason why you're even going to want to avoid it. Hello. I am the voice of David from Microsoft's local speech. This is an example of me speaking. Right, you can see it's not very good. And this is why we're going to audio peak. And since I'm starting from scratch, I'm going to come over to jaw. And I'm going to click on controller 4 that I just set up. I know I'm on pin 36. I'm going to click basic, hit limits. Now, my jaw settings are going to be different from yours because I have a different mechanism than the standard in move. Um, now, I know my limits are 71 to 100 for the output. Uh, if you haven't done this before, you know, you're going to want to know the basic range and then move... Uh, you set the limits relatively small and then just slowly increase it and, uh, you know, play it safe. Don't break anything. Uh, I also know that my rest is at zero. And while I'm here, I'm going to decrease the speed. Now, the reason you want to decrease the speed is when you have it at full speed and the jaw is speaking, for one, it can be loud because plastic hitting plastic. And two, it can just look a little bit funny. It'll look, a, it'll look better if it's slowed down a bit. Not too slow, but, you know, just a little bit. If it's going too fast, it, it'll look funny. So I'm going to come over the controller, and I'm going to hit Attach now. And now I'm going to turn on this guy's power and make sure that I can move the servo with the slider and that everything's working. Power's on. Jaws moving. Happy times. So I'm going to come back to IO1, and I'm going to hit this speech icon here. Now, you'll see this from the get-go, and you'll see it as Mary's speech. Leave Mary alone. Mary is evil. Um, you can read a little bit more about why Mary's evil on the GitHub page at the very bottom of the page. But for now, just click on local speech because it's, it's easy to work with, and it should be there, and hit, hit speech type. Then we'll turn the mouth on. Starting mouth audio file. Starting mouth. And you'll see that is Microsoft David desktop voice. And because of the GitHub page, GitHub page is set up for you, I've put a lot of copy and paste stuff. So you can more or less just copy everything from here and then paste it into my robot lab and just to make life easy for you. So I'm just going to copy and paste the example. Hello. I am the voice of David from Microsoft's local speech. This is an example of me speaking. 
Yep, that's great. Now I'm gonna scroll down to this right here. I'm gonna copy and paste this, come back to this, and we're gonna go up to the Python tab. And we're gonna click new and just name whatever, uh, test, test works. And we'll come over with a test. And uh, we'll copy and paste that in and we're gonna hit execute. So now your jaw is actually subscribed to uh, Audio Peak. And um, it should already be working, but we haven't played with the settings at all yet, so it won't be working well. But here you might be able to see an example of it moving. I'm not even sure. Hello. I am the voice of David from Microsoft's local speech. This is an example of me speaking. Okay, great. It moved a bit. Um, but it will get better. So next we're going to come up to runtime and we're going to save config and you can name it anything that you want. I'm just going to call it jaw test and hit OK. So now your config is actually saved. It will have created a new folder with all the data in it and that's what's important for right now. So we're going to come back to Python. We're going to get rid of this. We're going to come over to the GitHub page and you're going to want to copy this guy right here, put that in, and then hit execute. Hello, this is a test of the peak from mouth audio file. See? Looking better already, right? Happy times. Now, what you want to do with this, uh, if there is any delay or your jaw is too fast, you can adjust um, the peak delay. So, for example, if I put this to 600, hit execute. Hello, this is a test of the peak from mouth audio file. It's really slowed it down. So it's too slow at this point. And then you can just play with that. Adjust it until you're happy. Hello, with it. this is a test of the peak from mouth audio file. And then the next line, uh, peak multiplier. This is going to determine how much your jaw is going to open. So how far it will go. So for example, if I set it only to 50. Hello. This is a test of the peak from mouth audio file. You can see it barely moves at all. And it still moves. Um, and then if you really increase it, it will really open the jaw. Now it'll still stay within your limits. So you're safe on that, but it will really open up the mouth sometimes more than it needs to. It will kind of depend on your speed limits as well. Uh, you can see how that Hello, works Hello, this is a test of the peak from mouth audio file. And you can see that it kind of got stuck at its maximum position trying to compensate for that. So you'll, you'll want to play with that a bit. Um, maybe around. Hello, this is a test of the peak from mouth audio file. 250 seems to work for my jaw mechanism. You're going to have to play with it. Make sure everything is pretty good or that you're happy with it. Uh, as far as peak sample interval, the default is actually for 15. For a servo, you're going to want to have it at 1.0. Now, with uh, you can actually use this with like NeoPixels and LEDs as well. And for LEDs, NeoPixels, 15 by default is the default setting is what it works well with. So that, that's why it is the default. So you just keep that at 1 and you'll be hopefully happy with it once you've played with the other settings. And like I said, you want to play with the the speed settings a bit as well and then um yeah hopefully that uh that keeps you happy with it and the last thing to do will just be coming up to runtime and you'll want to click on whichever you saved before save config uh just to save it again and this will actually save everything that we uh adjusted the jaw with and then you can find in your data config folder that you have the new folder with the new uh, config set up and if you come down to io1 mouse audio file and if i open this with a vs code for example you can see that the figures should match what you just had in python so yep they're matching everything's saved we're good to go and uh well now you can run it whenever you want. Should be good. Uh, and to run it whenever you want, if you're restarting my robot lab, you can see your config is saved here. You can just hit start and that will boot everything that we've done so far. And and that is it. You're, you're good now. So 
I'll put the link for the, the GitHub in the description. It has exactly what I just went over. Um, and I will be adding more to this GitHub page. I'm just, I'm kind of working backwards on this stuff. Instead of doing the real basics, I kind of, you know, I'm doing this audio stuff because a lot of people needed uh, to get their jaws working better. So I am working backwards. A little bit of it is uh, a little bit repetitive, but it's coming along. What can you do? Working backwards, chaos. So anyway, hopefully your jaw works. Happy times.